Hi, this is Jeffrey Hunt for WhenTheCurvesLineUp.com. This is our podcast for June 16th, 2023. In, in the morning sky, bright Jupiter is about 15 degrees above the eastern horizon at one hour before daybreak. It continues to emerge from bright sunlight into a darker morning sky. The planet is slowly moving eastward in front of Aries. Hamel, the constellation's brightest star, is 11.2 degrees to Jupiter's upper left. This morning, the crescent moon, only 3% illuminated, is very low in the east-northeast, nearly 30 degrees to Jupiter's lower left. Find a clear horizon in that direction and use a binocular. The crescent moon appears in the same binocular field as the Pleiades star cluster, 4.7 degrees to the upper right of the moon and nearly 10 degrees above the horizon. The cluster might be visible to the unassisted eye. If you can see it without the binocular's help, then you can put it in the upper right portion of the field of view, then the moon appears to the lower left. At this hour, Saturn is in the south-southeast, about one-third of the way up in the sky from the horizon to overhead, corresponding to 30 degrees. The planet is slowly moving eastward in front of Aquarius. Fomalot, meaning the mouth of the southern fish, is about 20 degrees to Saturn's lower right and nearly 15 degrees above the horizon. Watch the moon rise higher through the binocular. By 30 minutes before sunrise, Mercury is nearly 4 degrees above the horizon and 4.9 degrees to the lower left of the lunar crescent. This is the last call for Mercury for this appearance or apparition. This morning view is a challenge, but possible. The planet retreats farther into bright sunlight, passing superior conjunction on July 1st and moving toward an unfavorable viewing period in the western evening sky. In the evening sky, brilliant Venus shines from the west during evening twilight. An hour after sundown, it is nearly 20 degrees up in the west. It is about midway from Pollux, a Gemini twin, and Regulus, Leo's brightest star. The planet is stepping eastward in front of Cancer. Cancer stars are difficult to see from the lights in urban and suburban settings. Mars, dimmer than Venus, and about the brightness of Castor, the other twin, is 5.6 degrees to the upper left of Venus. It is marching eastward, less than 15 degrees to the lower right of Regulus. The Venus-Mars gap continues to close, but Venus' eastward rate is slowing. Venus never overtakes Mars. The closest approach, 3.6 degrees, occurs on July 29th. Mars passes Regulus on July 10th. Venus stops short of the star. The closest approach is 3.5 degrees on July 16th. Through a binocular, Venus and Mars are in the same field of view, but shift the view slightly so that Venus is near the center of the field. The beehive cluster, also known as the Precipi or manger, is to the lower right in the field of view. For a location free from outdoor lighting, Cancer's dimmer stars are visible to the unaided eye as well as the beehive. The cluster appears much larger than a full moon. Even knowing that Venus does not pass Mars, watch Mars slow its eastward pace and fall short of a conjunction. Thank you for listening. You can find the charts and the text on our website. Thank you.